What's up, squad? Leland here with uh, Sports Dissecting. This is another episode of Athletes, and I'm joined by Mr. Dylan Witt uh, with Florida yep. Gators. Yep. And so you are? I'm the general manager for Sodexo Live. I run okay. the food service here. Okay. So what, what is general manager, uh, what does that title entail? So kind of oversee all the operations here. I have a few chefs that report to me, some operations management, and then, you know, it kind of filters down and all of the rest of the staff kind of report up to them. Um, so I oversee the day-to-day -day operations, including the, you know, kind of overarching longer term goals as well. You know, I, I make sure I'm aligned with the university, with the UAA, and exactly what they're looking for, making sure we're delivering that end result to the student athletes here. You know, getting any feedback back from the student athletes, from the coaches, the dietitians, the uh, nutrition staff, any of the operations staff, and, and making sure we're all on the same page and delivering what they need for the athletes to be properly fueled. How does the athletes fueling differ from just the traditional student uh, students at the university? So we try to give them a lot more variety depending on what they need. You know, it all depends on what sport they're in, what season they're in, whether they're in bulk, lean, you know, gain, maintain, whatever, whatever kind of life phase they're in right now and what they're doing that day, that week, if they're lifting, if they're running, if they're playing, whatever they need to do. You know, the other thing that kind of sets us apart from the general student dining, and this has been something that we're really fortunate for is the UAA, wants they brought us in because they know the quality of our work and our food and they want to use the best quality foods whereas you know the student dining may it, don't don't get me wrong it's perfectly good quality but they want the next level they want the best and that's what we deliver and we have top quality chefs and cooks that are trained endlessly to make sure they're they're delivering the right you know temperatures uh the right consistency the right the heat the, the quality the flavor everything is there so uh, as we were talking about with, with the athletes, how does how does the prep go? Uh, how does the prep work for you guys as far as do you, how do you far in advance do you prep like the dinner, the lunches and, uh, and, and breakfast? So it's prep is kind of continuous and nonstop. It depends on different items. So some items you can kind of get a day ahead. Like for example, the bacon. As soon as we get the last tray of bacon out of the oven for today's breakfast, we start traying bacon for tomorrow's breakfast. So tomorrow morning when we come in, we've already got whatever, 10 trays of bacon ready to go, sent in. Um, we've got chicken on that grill at all times. We serve about 150 to 200 pounds of chicken here a day. Uh, strawberries, fresh fruit, all of this comes in, gets chopped daily. Uh, we do about 80 to 100 pounds of strawberries every day. So it kind of depends on the item, things that will and can hold longer. We'll try to do a little bit further ahead, but some things like fresh fruit, you don't want to do that too far ahead. So you got to do that the day of, just a matter of hours before. And then some things will kind of get par cooked and preps like chicken will be you know seared on the outside but not finished through the inside so that when we're ready to serve it we'll finish it off and push it out so it's still the freshest you know nice and juicy it's not overcooked or, or raw the burgers get prepped fresh every single day steaks get marinated every day and then you know, cooked to order on the grill so the vast majority of it was was prepared and cooked and hours before it was actually consumed if not you know right before it goes out um, you know the volume that we push through here feeding 12 to 1500 people a day is is you really don't even have the space or time Jeez. to be more than a day or two ahead so a, a lot of but that that works right because everything's fresh and new and ready you know is there a lot of waste or how do you guys kind of no so fortunately the advantage of rotating through every single day and kind of having menu items that tie together really helps us minimize waste like i said fresh fruit Almost never a problem with waste, and that's good because that's one of the most expensive things, but it gets eaten every day. And if ever it doesn't, if that, if the blueberries have sat for now two days and they're looking a little soft and we don't want to put them out to serve, freeze them and put them in the smoothies. Um, same thing, you know, chicken, if it doesn't get eaten that day, it gets turned into a chicken soup or a pasta or goes on the, goes on the uh, saute station or something like that and gets used in a different way. Um, waste is very, very minimal. Fortunately, that's a great thing for us. Um, you know, Chef Inspiration Station is another outlet for that. If there's something that we, we've served one day that maybe we didn't use all of the ingredients that we ordered for, okay, we'll look at it and the chefs be creative and how can we figure out something else and you know, combine these ingredients in a different way and present it in a new dish. <laughs> What's up, squad? So I'm here with uh, Ms. Kelsey Gomes, the Director of Sports Nutrition for Football. Yes. I got it. You got it right. Second time to it. try? <laughs> yes, yes, now we're good. So you're gonna walk, uh, walk us through how to make um, a plate, the perfect plate yep. for a wide receiver, 
through the different phases of the season and then also alignment, correct? That's correct, yeah. Okay. Then we are in our brand new football performance center and so this is actually, this dining facility feeds all athletes so it doesn't just feed football. So our athletes actually get to interact with, with athletes from other sports which is really cool um, and we kind of get to customize what the guys like to do on their plates. And so as we kind of, you'll see guys kind of walking through here as you're filming today, um, we'll get to see some of the football guys but yeah, we'll kind of look at the different phases of season just because it kind of changes so much that when we get out of preseason camp and once we're really into the grind of season. So as we're kind of going through the line, there's three steps to so I'm a meal. receiver. Okay, yep. And I, uh, your plate is going to be bulking. I need, I need to gain and okay. this, this will be my lean plate. They're your lean plate. Okay. okay. So there's three steps every meal, right? So we want to make sure that there's fruits and vegetables for your antioxidants, there's carbohydrates for energy, and there's protein that help with building muscle and maintaining muscle throughout season. So with kind of the bulk side, we want to make sure, I'm just going to kind of get some blueberries, um, we'll do some grapes, like really like depending on an, an athlete's preference is kind of what they can do for, um, and we want like half of their plate to be in carbohydrates if they're trying to gain, and about two thirds of one side in protein, and then also like your fruits and vegetables. So it's going to be a pretty, it's going to be a pretty bulky plate. Do, do for, fruits and vegetables, uh, are they carbs? They are carbs, carbs. Okay. they are considered carbs. So for you, kind of pick your, your fruit, and like really you want to make sure that yours is about a fistful. A fistful? Mm -hmm. Total? Yep. Okay. Really, like any of your leafy vegetables are gonna be really good just because they're a really good source of iron. So again, when you look at energy, um, really important, like males don't have as high iron needs as females do, but this is still a really good source of iron when you're doing like leafy greens and spinach. Uh, definitely want some eggs. So this is really good for a lean option just because like you're getting some other, like it's another source of protein. Protein helps with filling, like a full feeling, as well as the fiber from your fruits and vegetables. Okay. And we always encourage three colors at least just because all of the different colors kind of correlate to to different things in your body. For like my weight gain guys, this is going to be kind of the opposite. My okay. grapes kind of spilled over, but the weight gain guys, about half of their plate, even if it's like a receiver, have really lean body types, like a lot of times it's hard to pack on the calories, but about half of my plate is going to be in, um, so about two of his fistful, yours is going to be about a fistful of carbs that you're doing. Okay. And then like you can kind of choose like your protein. I'm gonna do multiple carb sources for the gain guy. I'm kind of running out of room a little bit, but. Um, <laughs> two plates. Yep, I think that we need two plates. And then I'll kind of load this like with chicken. Like our guys really love like chicken, rice, black beans, but his is gonna be kind of piled more like three dimensional versus the lean plate that may not be as three dimensional as that. You want around like for, again, because this is our, um, our, our lean option, we want between like six and eight ounces of protein. Okay. So right now you've probably got like about, like usually about three ounces is the size of like an iPhone or a deck of cards. Okay. Um, and so you probably want to do probably two more scoops of chicken. Okay. I'm glad because I was like, man, this plate is yep. a yep. little light. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've kind of got one that's a little bit more, like I said, three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. You've got color on both, which is really important. You've got a heavy amount of protein. This one's about 10 to 12 ounces of protein, where this is about six to eight. Um, but here you've got, um, you know, we always say lean protein, um, less legs is best. So okay. fish, no legs, chicken and turkeys, two legs, cows and pigs, four legs. Liquid calories are another easy way for guys to kind of add like calories or, um, you know, options. So we do have like smoothies over there. I'll encourage milk for like our weight gain guys. And then usually if it's for like a lean guy, I will try to have him watch like the, um, like the sugar and some of the juices and everything. But if it's right before a practice time and he's like, I need to drink some Gatorade, like that's fine because it's gonna be around practice time. Okay. So, um, you know, that's gonna be what's in here, but I'll have him kind of limit like the juices or we'll just mostly like do water here. So now we're lining. Now we're doing our alignment. So this, I'm bulking this time. <laughs> you're bulking. Okay, so you get to bulk. I'm leaning. <laughs> what I kind of want you to do is actually make a parfait. Okay. So let's do like yogurt, which is a good source of calcium um, for our guys, a good source of vitamin D. Um, How much? A little bit more, one okay. more scoop. And then you're gonna add some granola on the top. So yogurt is such a great way and another vehicle for some high calories. So we're gonna do granola, which is a good carb source. Okay. And then I want you to add some fruit on the top of that. 
So watermelon's actually about 94% water. So this is another good hydration um, tool. Okay. Another really great like healthy fat source like that we have in our dining hall is avocados. I love them. So this would still be even another great source for like a lean So if you want to right now, if you want to make a salad kind of like um, with half of your, uh, so you're bulking, sorry. Um, if you want to put like a small salad like on here just so that you get some uh, leafy greens as well and we can okay. put some avocado on there just because again we want to for our, like our linemen. Okay. We still want about half of this side to be like in your carb options okay. so you can kind of pile that. I'm going to do for our lean guy, or for our lean guy I'm going to still do rice okay. on this side. Pasta and potato for me? Yes. Okay. I'm going to kind of go with some of the noodles that also have some vegetables in it for our lean guy just as another way that he can kind of get some vegetables. Um, another good like carb option would be some noodles. This is kind of a, again, because it's a 300 um, pound lineman that we're doing that even though he's trying to lean, it may just be that he's trying to decrease his body fat percentage. And so I still want to make sure that he has enough calories to maintain his weight, but he's just doing healthier options, less fried options, less of kind of the, um, the sugary options and then a lot of protein. So for him, we're going to go anywhere um, for him between like 10 and 12 ounces. Um, he's got some protein, especially between the avocado and the eggs on here. So he's got like a good amount of protein on this plate. Um, what I'm, I'm noticing is that you're, you're, you're adding options like with the noodles that have almost more layers than just noodles. It has the vegetables in it. How yeah. important is that? I love things like that, like just even like this, the, the yogurt. Like I love things that are vehicles for other nutrients. So, I mean, you look at your salad too, you've got avocado, you've got nuts, you've got healthy fats on there. So it's vehicles for more calories because I think that's the hardest thing with weight gain, right? That guys think like, oh my God, I gotta eat all of this food right now. Where if I can add calories from nuts, from bacon, from avocados, from ranch dressing, this is just a really easy way that I can kind of make this meal going from, you know, whether it's an 800 calorie meal to almost 1200 calories, just by adding some of these things that they won't notice as much. Oh yeah, these look good. I'm ready to eat now. <laughs> now it's, it's like any mini mighty motor yeah. feature. I wish yeah. plate I like the best. But you can see how like the three dimensional to kind of right now, unless they wanted to do two plates, but that's where like this for somebody that needs, you know, that averages like needs between 6,000 and 7,000 calories. It's hard to like get that in on a daily basis. So having to do multiple plates sometimes is a really easy way to, to do that as well. I think it's, uh, I think it's time to, we made these yeah, beautiful places. Let's eat. Let's make them disappear <laughs> That's now. That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> Sounds good. Sports Dissected is a brand dedicated to providing fans a behind the scenes perspective on the sports that they love. Our cameras catch everything from the step by step creative process of how an NBA championship ring is made to an in-depth facility tour of the Golden State Warriors $1.4 billion chase center. In a six year span, Sports Dissector has amassed over 65 million views and over 300,000 subscribers. To put it simply, we exist to expand sports enthusiasts' knowledge about the functionality, lifestyle, and creative process of sports. I'm your host, George Kill. I'm Leland. It's your girl, Tasha Kwan. And I'm sorry, you'll never see sports the same.